Por siglos, la humanidad ha reparado casi únicamente en este rostro de África. ¿Es usted de los que creen que una porción de verdad continúa desestimada por las grandes plataformas de la comunicación? Le invitamos a descubrir África más allá de la precariedad mediática, real o construida. Conozca el potencial de sus poblaciones, algunas abriéndose paso en terrenos de fuerte desarrollo económico, asimismo la creación de estructuras organizacionales que articulan los caminos a seguir en la búsqueda del progreso del continente. Bienvenidos a África sin estigmas, en positivo, bella y emprendedora. África más allá. Cuentan que en estas tierras tiene sus orígenes la humanidad. Aquí donde imperó la legendaria reina Saba, el mundo descubre a Etiopía con una de las cinco economías de más acelerado crecimiento en África en la última década. Claro, el azote de la pandemia de COVID-19 y algunos conflictos hacia el interior de la nación han ralentizado un poco esa marcha por el progreso, pero Etiopía no se detiene. Etiopía... Uh, is achieving a double digit economy growth for the last uh, more than 15 years except for the period of covid uh, covid has uh, put some strain on the economic growth uh, and uh, in the past few years as well the uh, climate induced droughts which has affected the entire uh, East Africa region has also affected Ethiopia because of COVID and the climate induced droughts and the desert locust uh, and because of the ongoing conflict in the northern part of the country the economic development has been uh, uh, reduced to, to a certain extent but uh, Ethiopia is still on the good trajectory of economic growth. La base de su desarrollo se asienta en la política de industrialización del gobierno, que propugna que sea la propia Etiopía la que produzca. Así se evitan dependencias de terceros. De ahí que estén en auge todos los sectores, particularmente el real estate, dígase viviendas, oficinas, hoteles, las energías alternativas, sanidad, el área farmacéutica, infraestructuras como carreteras, transporte, comunicaciones, también la alimentación. The road infrastructure, railway infrastructure, uh, energy, all these are very critical for economic growth. A tal punto avanzó el país en tan poco tiempo que según informes internacionales se espera que Etiopía sea uno de los principales productores de alimentos del mundo en los próximos años.
government has put in place uh, the right policies and uh, the Dr. Abi government has made uh, tremendous uh, steps to reform the economy of the country and it has introduced a homegrown economic policy which uh, addresses the imbalances in the economy in all aspects. I mean sectoral imbalances, macroeconomic imbalances, and uh, uh, you know, institutional incapacities you know, to address all the capacity uh, challenges in, the, in performing institutions, service providing institutions, uh, and uh, by improving the service provision uh, improving doing business of the country. All these are envisaged to uh, enhance our, our economic growth. And the government has also focused on industrial parks development, which is a driving force for industrialization of a country. Corporación de Desarrollo de Parques Industriales La Corporación de Desarrollo de Parques Industriales, IPDC, por su sigla en inglés, quedó establecida en 2014. Tendría el mandato legal de operar y desarrollar parques industriales en diferentes sitios de Etiopía como una iniciativa nacional emblemática. Los parques industriales están diseñados para cumplir una visión del gobierno etíope con el objetivo de transformar la economía de agrícola a industrial, basada en la creación de oportunidades de empleo y la expansión de exportaciones, con todos los incrementos correspondientes bajo presión ambiental. El establecimiento de parques industriales en Etiopía llega para mejorar el crecimiento económico y jugar un papel significativo en la creación de oportunidades de empleo. Asimismo, se convierte en el centro de atención del gobierno. Todos los parques industriales están equipados con la infraestructura necesaria en aras de dispensar un servicio completo, así como cumplir los objetivos del sector manufacturero. Se invierte en infraestructuras como calles asfaltadas, luminarias públicas, sistemas de vigilancia, cámaras y televisión internas, una sólida subestación de energía, telecomunicaciones y servicios de Internet, suministro de agua vasto, drenaje de aguas pluviales, planta de tratamiento de efluentes comunes, planta de tratamiento de aguas residuales, alojamiento, estación de bomberos, centros de atención médica, estación de policía y centros de preparación insertados para completar el servicio general de los parques industriales. China, India, Sri Lanka, Corea del Sur, Indonesia, Estados Unidos, Gran Bretaña, Francia, Italia, Bangladesh, Bélgica, Sudáfrica, junto a empresarios de la propia Etiopía, son países cuyas inversiones cuentan en estos parques industriales. I want to present my invitation to you to turn your faces towards these industrial parks, not only privately, but getting organized through joint ventures that is a continuous way in saving knowledge and wealth. The Grand Ethiopia Renaissance Dam, which is a flagship project, uh, belongs to every Ethiopian. It's a, an Ethiopian project because uh, it's financed by Ethiopians. Uh, and uh, it's uh, the flagship for every Ethiopian because, uh, as you know, Ethiopia is the origin of uh, 
uh, Nile River, one of the origins begins from Ethiopia, the Blue Nile. Uh, not only it's uh, the origin of uh, the, 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 the Nile River, but it contributes significant uh, volume of water, uh, which constitutes about 86% of the water. Now Ethiopians are contributing uh, from their own uh, resources, and the government is putting money from its coffer, and the construction is uh, going on now. This is a mega project for us, and uh, it's a landmark project, which will uh, generate electricity and pro contribute to the economic growth, because power is very important for any economic growth. Ethiopia's uh, power demand uh, increases every year on average about 30%. It's aspiring to develop this natural resource for common use and the hydroelectric power is, uh, can be used in the country and can be exported to the neighboring countries and the, the neighboring countries can be benefited from this uh, uh, product. And, uh, this can be a, a base for cooperation, not for confrontation. Etiopía es un país con un millón de kilómetros cuadrados y un mercado de 110 millones de habitantes. Algunos ignoran que esta nación, ubicada en el llamado cuerno africano, cuenta con extraordinarios recursos naturales: puro, gas y algo que sorprende, mucha agua. Una verdadera riqueza en recursos hidráulicos. Lo que no ha necesitado Etiopía hasta ahora han sido las infraestructuras para gestionar esa riqueza natural. Según un informe de New World of Wealthy, la riqueza existente en Etiopía lo convierte en el país africano que más millonarios genera, al tiempo que florece una pujante clase media que demanda productos y servicios, mientras se vive un boom de la construcción único en el mundo. Continuamente se le ve nombrada a la nación como la Nueva China, la nueva fábrica del mundo y uno de los 10 mercados emergentes en los que invertir. Así lo han avalado el Banco Mundial, el Fondo Monetario Internacional o The Economist. De seguir así y retomar el ritmo de crecimiento económico superada la actual crisis, se espera que Etiopía se convierta en la primera potencia mundial africana. Paralelamente, el gobierno ha conseguido grandes logros, como reducir la pobreza al 50%, aumentar la esperanza de vida de 43 a 65 años, mejorar notablemente la salud materna, así como reducir la mortalidad infantil en un 49%, y ha cumplido 6 de los 8 objetivos del milenio que marca la Organización de Naciones Unidas. Podría decirse, que el corazón del continente late en Etiopía. Addis Abeba, su capital, es un centro diplomático mundial, sede de la Unión Africana y de la Comisión de las Naciones Unidas para África. Tiene 135 embajadas internacionales y es una pieza clave en el equilibrio de la zona. Defense Headquarters. The state-of-the-art five-floor defense headquarters is built on an area of more than 13 hectares of land in the capital city, Addis Ababa. An earthquake-resistant building, it contains 773 offices and facilities, such as meeting halls, a library, well-equipped data center, a situation room, and an operations room. It has eight panoramic elevators and built-in fire alarm systems. The quadrilateral shape of the building denotes that the Ethiopian military force protects the country along the four corners direction of its borders. The shape of the building when observed from the top looks like an arrow and shield shape of our traditional weapon. This design is originated from the concept of the traditional weapon of ancient Ethiopian warriors, which is the arrow and shield. Museum. 
The Adwa Museum is an edifice planned to serve as a symbolic and functional hub. The project represents that our capital is at the center of our country and our overall movement as Ethiopians. It is a symbol of our people's unity and a reminder of the history and legacy of our ancestors. The project, which commemorates the great victory of Adwa, underscores its iconic stance as a symbol of Africa dignity and that of all Black people. The Adwa project is hoped to boost our tourism revenue of Addis Ababa and that of Ethiopia at large. New Kuskwam and Toto Solota Road. Cutting through dense forests and creating a unique atmosphere is the newly built Kuskwam and Toto Solota Road, offering many respite points to park and enjoy the scenic beauty. The construction of Kuskwam and Toto Road section of the project was completed in one year period with intensive day and night shift operations by the Addis Ababa Roads Authority at a cost of 249.5 million Ethiopian burr. Pushkin Gotara Road Project. The Pushkin Gotara Road Project introduces a new chapter to the roads of Addis Ababa by bringing the first of its kind 320 meters long street tunnel to the city. The project aims to enhance the very chronic traffic congestion which was exhibited around Kara by introducing an interchange with three levels. The tunnel along with the 100 meter long overpass bridge facilitates the free flow of traffic. Pushkin Gotara can be considered as a landmark project for its excellent project execution, sustainable as well as efficient solution to the acute traffic congestion, economic multiplier effect to the city, ensuring traffic safety, timely project delivery, minimizing travel time and cost. Unity Parking. Unity Parking is a part of the Grand Palace Heritage Parking Project, which began in 2019 and is now under completion on a 54,500 square meter area of land. The structure features four basement levels and a G plus four multifunctional building complex parking structure that can accommodate 1,050 cars and 10 buses. About 95 spaces are available for shops, bars, and restaurants, as well as an amphitheater, security offices, and an internet cafe. Mescal Square and Parking Mescal Square's exterior has been upgraded to provide a better and more modern service to our city's diversity, covering 50,000 square meters with trees, fountains, planted grass, and five digital LED display screens. This road upgrade project has been a wonderful addition to our city, attracting local and foreign visitors and creating a beautiful and appealing landscape. Cafes and Wi-Fi internet access are also freely accessible on site. The project includes two basement smart parking lots that provide better and more modern service that can accommodate up to 1,400 vehicles simultaneously, as well as bike lanes and electronic bikes. In addition, there are 35 shops, 140 restrooms, 20 bathrooms, and many other office facilities, along with six elevators, 24-hour security cameras, and modern fire protection.
Abrahot Library, an architectural marvel with a unique style and size, Abrahot Library is the largest library in Ethiopia and one of the top 10 most beautiful libraries in Africa. The facility built on a 38,687 square meter land took a mere 18 months to finish. There is much in a name as names hold our aspirations and visions at times. Abrahot means enlightenment in Amharic. The project was initiated by Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed as part of efforts to improve the education sector. He stressed that as one of the 18 countries in the world and the only nation with its own alphabet, Ethiopians should explore knowledge and wisdom contained in its ancient manuscripts. When enlightenment comes, a generation will understand the true meaning of a nation, freedom, history, the benefits of prosperity and the journey to it. Science and Technology Museum The Science and Technology Museum is a state-of-the-art facility that contains a science and technology exhibition hall dedicated to the development and application of scientific ideas and instruments. Lying on 6.78 hectares, the museum contains a science and technological innovation exhibition area, circular in shape and dubbed Ring of Wisdom, to denote humanity's endless ability and capacity to continuously create. Entoto Park. Entoto Park lies at the north edge of Addis Ababa at an altitude of 2,600 to 3,200 meters in the Entoto Mountains considered the lung of Addis Ababa. Initiated by Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed in 2020, the entire park infrastructure was built mobilizing local resources and onboarding different businesses. Offering a wide range of indoor and outdoor activities, including a paintball arena, which is a safe haven for everyone who loves a good game of paintball, zipline and obstacle courses. Adults and children can enjoy the natural green environment and ride horses. For those who dare a night or two in the urban wilderness, a tented camp area is available. Home to some of the best Ethiopian owned cafes and restaurants, the park offers a weekend respite for millions of residents of the city, as well as an ideal stopover for travelers transiting through Ethiopia. Unity Park. In 2019, Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed launched the Unity Park at the Grand National Palace, opening up the space to the public known previously as a center of glory and agony. The Grand National Palace has housed and has been the office of successive Ethiopian leaders since it was established in the 1870s. Various sculptures in the park depict the culture, civilization, and strength of Ethiopian nationalities. Sculptures are made of wood, stone, and mud. Moreover, the handcrafted sculptures show Ethiopian masterpieces. Aunque más del 70% de la población de Etiopía sigue empleada en el sector agrícola, los servicios han superado a la agricultura como principal fuente de Producto Interno Bruto. Como ya hemos visto, los proyectos de infraestructura en curso incluyen producción y distribución de energía, carreteras, vías férreas, aeropuertos y parques industriales. Algo importante, los sectores clave son de propiedad estatal, incluidas las telecomunicaciones, la banca y los seguros, así como la distribución de energía. De acuerdo con la Constitución de Etiopía, 
el Estado es propietario de todas las tierras y ofrece arrendamientos a largo plazo a los inquilinos. Hoy hemos mostrado el auge de Etiopía, uno de los países más complejos de África, cuya estabilidad depende en gran medida de difíciles equilibrios étnicos. Aún así, se ha erigido con sólidos planes del gobierno nacional en una economía creciente de referencia para el resto del continente y el mundo. A pesar de la desaceleración circunstancial que pueda experimentar, las bases y la organización para seguir impulsando ese desarrollo continúan ahí respaldando el futuro de la tierra más antigua nunca colonizada en África. Thank you.